and leads this Virginia Tech women's program all-time in made three-pointers. Virginia Tech is in the white. Boston College in the traveling pink this afternoon. Which is the bad pass by the freshman Gek Dang. Namor trying to work that baseline. Baines to the rim. Baines around the edge. Drops it low to Kitley with a fall away with some touch and finesse. She did not get into double digits in scoring. See how she responds after that performance against the Irish. And that one swirls on down from Taylor Soul. The Tech team has four players that average in double figures. Namor. She is one of them. We honor her each and every February with our Play for K games. Three-pointer. Boston College and Michaela Dickens. Play but was whistled for the infraction. Right there, just that little second. It can be frustrating. Amor with a step and the roll and the foul for Amor. Right here, Georgia Amor decides to take Ivy, who's a little bit too late catching up with her, says, hey, I have a little bit of step on you. Size, her skinny slimness. She gets that call to go and gets the charge. Soul got the defender in the air. In fact, she started the last nine games in a row for Coach Mack in BC. Shot clock at 10 for Soul. The mid range from the wing, and it's money. And both Kidley and Gakdang out jumping. We're trying to out jump each other as Dickens. 47 on the season. She's closing in on the BC school record, which is 58. And she did it against one of the best in the ACC, Kayla King out of the corner. King just a little bit short on that one. And Dickens pulls up and stops and pops in the face of Trailer. Really grateful for games like this and women like Kay Yao, who brought awareness to cancer. Shepard ripping the ropes for Virginia Tech. Asia Shepard. Gerard, not high enough on the square. Came back to Wagner somehow, and she puts it up and in. Good job with the reverse layup. The handles from Amor. Slides it into Kitley. Up on the rim. And it rolls in for Kitley. Kitley, Kitley having to fade away because of the intense defense. The pressure being put on by Boston College. Swartz in rhythm. Hits the shot. Amor putting on the dribbling clinic. Now releases and hits a three ball. It's the reason why was so successful. Amor used not one but two screens and came back as Duran gets it to go at the end of the clock. Nice two-pointer there. Amor, three ball. She just sizzled that one through the net. Second made three of the game for her in the fourth of the game for Virginia Tech. Kidley on the block. Face up over Gakdang. Just turning around and shooting over. Ten points now for Kidley. 21 games at double digits. And that's Swartz with the jumper. Seven points. Kidley extending the range. Gakdang came out to challenge. King of the inside. Able to force it up and in. They're going to need her to stay aggressive. Baines, talk about aggressive. Through the lane, score the basket. Largest lead of the game right now for Virginia Tech. Sports puts on the brakes and puts it up and in. Ball never hit the rim on the attempt by Gakdang. And then Gerard will knock down the shot for BC inside of five minutes to go in the quarter. Swartz is going one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not necessarily against that, but I think that ball movement should happen before you go one-on-one -on -one as Kitley. I'm excited with you, Tom. I'll be there this year as the floor reporter and can't wait to tell all the story as Asia Gray. Now that's six points for Greg. She averages 1.7 per game for the senior from Florence, South Carolina. She's way above her season average. That is Swartz as we play for K on a Sunday of the ACC.
Try to go low to Kitley. Twisting catch and basket. And the kind of player she has allowed her to just spin around, find that ball mid-air while holding the defender off. How about Swartz in mid-air, mind you? For the Hokies, there's Trailer on the dribble. Amor. Both sides of the rim. Bangs! Shot clock at three, game clock at ten. Swartz trying to race to the basket and beat Amor to it. The Boston College has a chance to get back in this one. Eagles in the pink with the ball. Entry, gap dang, and it's a good start for the Eagles. Bodies all over the floor on that one. Shepard floats it in the paint and gets the roll for Virginia Tech. Tries to save that one, results in a turnover. Virginia Tech takes it down and finds Kinley. And this place is fired up. Trailer, the scoop. Baines, Kitley. Several moves. Kitley. On the night for Kitley, that's well above her season average of 17.6, second best in the ACC. Van Timmeren, three ball. Gotta look for her shot next time. Trailer dropped it off to Kitley. What an assist from Trailer. Trios in the ACC. Virginia Tech has the setting lead, second leading trio returning from last season. Boston College the third. Is, I mean, but that's what good players do. Great players do. She found a way to get her scoring for her team. Whether it was at the free throw line or on the block, it's Taylor Soul. Virginia Tech so strong here at Castle Coliseum. They're going to move to eight and one. Barring a miraculous BC comeback trailer layup. So a lot of opportunity for the Hokies. Amor! Highest ranked opponent Virginia Tech had ever beaten in school history. They scored 26 points in the overtime for an NCAA record. That we're here to stay and that we can compete with anybody. I mean, this is not a scrub Boston College team. Like, this is a good team, maybe a little inconsistent as the Hokies get the turnover. And they make it stand up and more in the second half. Wagner with a late basket. <laughs> 85-62, the final count. Virginia Tech is a winner. 16th win of the season for Kenny Brooks and the Hokies.